Hello everybody, it's the 8th of December today, and so it's day 8 of Vlogmas. So welcome back to my channel, So Sweet Samuel. I hope everybody's well today, thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to show you some things I've made first of all, and then we'll go on to opening my advent calendars. Um, so after I left you yesterday, when I picked Samuel up from school, before I took him to cookery, I put together some teacher gifts and they will also be table decorations. I've got 13 for dinner for Christmas Day this year. So I have made, I can't show you them now, they're over there. I'll show them to you tomorrow if I remember. Um, I've made some Mandy Shaw Red Work Christmas crackers, but I've only got, have I got 10 or 11 made? Um, and I know I only need to wait one or two more, but I just haven't got the time to make them. So I will get them made throughout the year for another year, but um, <clears throat> I just haven't got the time to make those. So I've decided to make these chocolate sleighs. They're, they're nice, they're easy enough to make. So you start off with a fairly large chocolate bar. So I start with a four finger Kit Kat. Then I put another chocolate bar on top. Then I buy the fun size packets of sweets. So I've got some um, magic stars and some Skittles and then a little Milky Way. And we had a whole load of chocolate eclairs, which I've just put on the top. Then I add two um, candy canes underneath. And then finally I add a lint Santa. So they're ever so easy to make. So I'm giving these to Samuel's teachers. So I've done seven to go into his school. So that includes his teacher, um, his uh, cover teacher for when his, his teacher's not there on a Monday. So the cover teacher on a Monday and also the head teacher and a deputy head teacher as well. And then all the LSAs in his classroom. And then I'm going to be making another 13 for our Christmas table. And I'm thinking of making a giant one as well for my sister for Christmas. So with a really big bar of chocolate on the bottom and then stacking up with smaller bars of chocolate and then getting a large lint Santa on top and getting two large candy canes for the, for the bottom of the sleigh if I can. Um, I don't think anybody eats the candy canes really, do they? But yeah, so I made that. Well, I made seven of those last night, so seven down, 13 to go. <laughs> and then this morning, I've been putting together uh, quilting and wadding. Oh, what's upside down? Quilting and wadding the hot water bottle covers. So this is the bottom of one. This is the top of that one. And this is the back of that one. And I've also got another one, the front panel all quilted together. And I've got the backing to do, and then I've got another one to quilt. So I'll probably finish off the quilting of that one when I get back from picking up Samuel. He's got football tonight till quarter past four. So when I finish filming this video, I'm going to pop to the shops, pop to see my mum for an hour and then go and pick Samuel up from football. And then Mark always goes to his mum's on a Thursday night. So we're going to, myself and Samuel, it'll only be us two home for dinner. So we're going to go and treat ourselves. Samuel wants chips from the chip shop and I'm going to have a little Chinese from the chip shop, as you do. And then we'll be home by half past four. So we'll have really early dinner. We'll be done by five o'clock. Um... So then I might spend an hour at the sewing machine just finishing off the quilting so tomorrow I can put them all together and turn them into the hot water bottle covers and then I've got two more to make so that's not too bad really. So let's open up the advent calendar. So I, I'm not going to show you my cow that I've been doing because I was so exhausted yesterday. It was just ridiculous. Um, so I did a little bit of hand stitching on another set of um, hexes for an advent calendar and then I did a few rounds of my knitting but there's nothing different to show you. This afternoon while I was waiting to tutor my little boy, um, not my little boy, the little boy I tutor, 
every lunchtime <clears throat> I wrote out the second part of the pattern but when I opened today's advent calendar from Green Lamykin Yarns I will then have three skeins of yarn so I've fallen three days behind so I'm hoping tonight I will get a skein wound up and get that one put in and that will now be a change of pattern so I've written out the pattern so hopefully by tomorrow or well hopefully by it's tomorrow Friday it is isn't it hopefully by tomorrow I'll have a change of pattern going into my cowl so I can show you um I don't think I'll be able to upload anything on Saturday because we're at dancing in the morning half past nine to half past eleven then I've got to come home and I've got to prepare an early dinner because we've got to be back at dancing to drop Samuel off at five for us to go in for 5 30 um, and Mark's got to pick up his mum as well so I don't think I will be able to upload anything on Saturday however if you are interested I will upload um, videos of Samuel dancing with his partner um, because well, I'm biased, but I think he dances beautifully. <laughs> um, but I will come by for a lovely crafty chat on Sunday. And I dare say my little sidekick will join me on Sunday as well. <laughs> I dare say he'll want to get involved on Sunday. Um, and then he's only at school then for a full week and two days. So then you can see lots of Samuel after that. So I really want to start with um, Paula, stitched by Mrs D. Let's see what Clemmie is going to wear today. Oh, What's it say? Oh, so cute. A dressing gown for those cold winter nights. Oh my goodness, you need this today, Clemmie. It was minus two this morning when we went to school. I had to de-ice my car and I used the water from my hot water bottle. In the past, I've used the kettle. Mark always tells me off, you'll crack the window screen. But I decided to use my water from the hot water bottle and that was enough to go all around the car. And then I had a little squirt, squirt of um, de-icer as well. But that was, uh, that was enough actually, just the water from the hot water bottle. And actually Paula said exactly the same as me this morning. You know, in the summer they say, don't walk your dog because of their feet burning on the floor, but there's no warning in the winter, but Milo gets so upset if I leave him at home in the morning. He likes to take Samuel to school and see all the children. And because I've been with my mum this week, he hasn't been out for a walk. So he was so desperate to go, but we literally just took some, parked the car, took Samuel to school, and then we just went for maybe a five minute walk and then we were back into the car and he didn't make a fuss about getting back into the car and he had a big thick coat on. But um, I'll probably do the same tomorrow, just a really quick walk to the school and then try and take him out a bit later on in the day. Look at her dressing gown, isn't that just gorgeous? I love it, lovely Christmas green with a bit of, is that a bit of ribbon with some stars on that? Oh, you do look cosy, Clemmy. You do look very cosy in your dressing gown. I think you're nearly ready for bed, Clemmy. What do you think, maybe she just needs a nice hat on now and then you'll be ready we all snuggle down won't you what have we got eight we've got four days to go haven't we four days to go for you because you're only a 12 day advent calendar you do look lovely okay from midnight diary another shade of brown it's a nice one isn't it i like that one Little donkey, a staple of all the kids' nativity plays. Donkeys are quite grey. You know, that's not really very grey, Gemma. <laughs> oh, and then green lambikins. Oh, I'm so blonde, aren't I? You know, the other day I said, well, I don't know what was in this, um, what came with this yarn. Oh, it must have been a tea bag. must have been a tea bag. And when I was watching it back, I'm sitting there saying, Oh yeah, and it came with a sweet because the sweet broke on the yarn and it stuck to the yarn. But I'm there I am thinking that was it a tea bag? Was it a stitch marker? I can't remember. It was a sweetie, wasn't it? Because it got stuck to it. So this is day eight. I'm loving this. So having this again next year. Just beautiful. Oh. 
very bright yellow. And it says, what does it say? Five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Awful singing. Oh, I love that stitch marker. It's a little dancing Santa. I love that one. I can put that one on. My other one, I think, must have been a progress. Or was the other one like um the other one you couldn't clip to the work, but this one you can clip to the work. So I think I'm gonna clip that one to my work. Oh, I do like that one. I do apologize for my singing though. Well, it wasn't singing, it was cattle walling, wasn't it? Cattle, cattle walling, what's it called? Put that back in there so I get the right number. Until I've had some sleep today, I, I feel better. I'm not so, ooh. I did sleep well last night. And then, um, Dandelion and Dogwood, number eight. Turkish Delight liqueur. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? I love Turkish Delight. I've got some upstairs in the loft. I always buy Turkish Delight from Waitrose every Christmas. Buy some for me and some for my mum. I've got to start wrapping up. I hate wrapping up. I find it's such a boring job. I really do. Well, I did buy some really nice wrapping paper. I find it easy if I've got wrapping paper with cutting lines on it. And the wrapping paper I bought this year has got cutting lines on it. So I'm going to head off because I've got to get to my mum's, spend a bit of time with my mum. I had to wait for a doctor's appointment. <laughs> I phoned the doctor, I, I, no, I emailed the doctors last Monday to say I needed steroids because my asthma was bad. So I put an email prescription in and they didn't fill the prescription for me. I got a phone call on Thursday to say I had to have a face-to-face -face or a telephone consultation to discuss the require the need for me to have steroids for my asthma. The phone call was this morning, so 10 days after I emailed to request steroids for my asthma. Could be dead by now. So I spoke to the doctor this morning and he has now agreed to give me steroids for my asthma, which I don't need now. But at least I've got a prescription so I can just keep that in my cupboard for another time. I tell you. So I did upload a little short this morning of just me sewing on the machine, sewing my hexes together. Um, so as always, thank you for stopping by and joining me. Thank you for your lovely comments. And sorry, I just felt a bit miserable yesterday. I think it's just lack of sleep, isn't it? Um, just makes you feel a bit... Ugh. But um, I'm hopefully going to come back this afternoon from picking up Samuel. I'm a lot warmer today. We left the heating on all night last night. And I finally convinced Mark to see it's more economical to just leave the heating on, on a low level, particularly when it's minus two outside and just let it click on and off throughout the day, keeping the house warm rather than the house going freezing cold and the heating fighting a losing battle. So once it warms up slightly, then it's not so horrendous, not so necessary, is it? But you know, so when I get back then, when we've had our dinner, I'll sit maybe for an hour. Um, we might play a game or something, but then I'll sit for an hour, um, do a bit more quilting on the hot water bottle covers, maybe get them cut out, get the shape cut out. And then tomorrow morning, I'll get those sewn together. So when I join you tomorrow, hopefully I'll have some hot water bottles to show you. Um, yeah. Tomorrow afternoon is a bit busy because I'm tutoring the little boy at lunchtime and then I'll pick something up from school and then I've got two children to tutor after school. So it's a bit busy tomorrow. And then obviously Saturday is a busy day. I won't be able to upload on Saturday. It'll just maybe be a clip in the evening, but it'd be late of Samuel dancing. But then I will record something on Sunday with Samuel as well hopefully if he wants to come back on and have a chat I'm sure he will because he had a riot last weekend so anyway as always thank you very much for stopping by in your busy day and thank you for all your lovely comments and I will see you tomorrow take care happy crafting bye